And outside Africa, U.S. President Joe Biden has announced new sanctions in retaliation for Russians recognizing two breakaway regions in eastern Ukraine and sending troops there, adding to Western efforts to stop what they fear is the beginning of a full-scale invasion. The measures target Russians' banks and Soviet debt. About, among all the steps, one of the worst security crises in Europe in decades as Russia's president, Vladimir Putin, signs decrees recognizing independence of separate regions in eastern Ukraine. The self-proclaimed Dutch People's Republic and others include the following. Let the remarks indicate any interest in pursuing real dialogue on European security in the year 2022. He directly attacked Ukraine's right to exist. He indirectly threatened territorial formerly held by Russia, including nations that today are thriving democracies and members of NATO. He explicitly threatened war unless his extreme demands were met. And there is no question that Russia is the aggressor. So we're clear eyed about the challenges we're facing. Nonetheless, there is still time to avert the worst case scenario that will bring untold suffering to millions of people if they move as suggested. The United States and our allies and partners remain open to diplomacy, if it is serious. When all is said and done, we're going to judge Russia by its actions, not its words. And whatever Russia does next, we're ready to respond with unity, clarity, and conviction. We'll probably have more to say about this as we it moves on. I'm hoping diplomacy is still available. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.